Well, we're 10 miles away now from Windermere Lake, not gone far. I'm still just, oh, hard not pass. It's just breathtaking. It really is like eating the yellow Smarties when you're a kid, all the squash, and I'm getting really hyper for many hours. It's just, oh. But anyway, moving on. Windermere, Lake Windermere. Now there's a posh hotel there and uh, I could be sitting in there tonight. And um, if I wanted to be, I could be enjoying some absolutely amazing posh people eat like caviar that I think is like, looks like frog spawn, you know, and eating shell stuff and being posh and drinking champagne. But no, not me. I'm going back to the monkey cycle camper van Mark II because I am a true uh, adventurer and I've, uh, so yeah, I've got a nice meal tonight. Obviously last night I had the stew and rice and uh, that went through me really quickly. I can see why it's 1% fat and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's in and out jobby, that's for sure. I feel very light this morning. Um, and then tonight I'm going really posh. So what I've basically done is I've got myself some fresh chicken and some bits and onions and stuff and I'm going to probably have a pasta, a creamy pasta with this fresh stuff on it and it's going to be really nice and really posh and obviously I'm just making some chicken and pasta sound better than it is but it's going to be amazing, everyone will be so jealous of me. Then of course I have my fake Stella Altoir again, what's basically Stella at half the price and I might finish it off with a lovely glass of Moe because, you know, posh people drink Moe. I've just decided it's because what I've got and I'm going to enjoy that. It's going to be amazing. Well, there we go. Windermere Lake in its finest. There's the boat if you want to uh, go on there and have a little cruise over to the little island. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Anyway, away from the tourist trap. So, I literally, again, have no idea where I'm going next, so it's back down to full-on winging it. I find a place to pull over, have a look on the map, figure out from there. Got myself some posh to eat from the petrol station, living the dream. Right, let's get going. Well, to the right of me is Lake Windermere. I've gone through Windermere, it's just full of tourists and, like, premier parking spots but I'm just going to keep going around hopefully they've been quite clever they've put like single white lines and yellow lines everywhere to stop us from stopping anywhere decent um, I'm hoping if I can get around away from people I'll find that perfect spot that is my plan at least but yeah wait Lake Windermere it is pretty there's boats on it and like leisure cruiser thingies and everything so yeah, I'm hoping I'll get a bit of dronage there. That is the plan. Wouldn't so get away from the tourist part if that's possible. Well, I'm here at Lake Windermere. I found a little cheeky place. It is next to a busy road, but I'm just gonna send the drone up because it's probably the best place to send the drone up to get the awesome footage. So ladies and gentlemen, let me show you by drone Windermere Lake or Lake Windermere, whatever it is. I've actually gone away from um, like the busy touristy part and managed to find a car park that's pretty much empty right next to the lake to enjoy a bit of lunch. 
And then I can tell you the awesome story about, you know, the historic side of this massive lake out here and you'll absolutely love it. So I'm going to sit down, chill out, eat some food and then I'll uh, tell you the best story. So get yourself some choc chocs ready and pour yourself a drink because you're going to like this one. So I have my rum and raisin fudge ready for this story. But let me tell the story of Lake Windermere. Now, Windermere was actually a queen and she was married to King Arthur. And King Arthur had a very trusted knight called Sir Lancelot. And Sir Lancelot really, really fancied Windermere. Uh, he really wanted the queen in his bed and he wanted a bit of noogie noogie. So what he did was he rode out on his horse and it'd have to be the biggest, grandest gesture in the world to get her into the sack. So he went out on his horse and he found lake that was so pretty. He was like, I'm going to name it Lake Win uh, Windermere. And then he decided that obviously he didn't want to just bed the queen on the side of the shore. So what he decided to do was go and build a fancy hotel called Lake Windermere Hotel where he could take her to and get noogie noogie on and that's exactly what he did now this is 100 zillion percent truthful not made up okay completely made up but it's a really true story so next time you come to look at Lake Windermere you can just think of Sir Lancelot getting the old queen for a bit of noogie 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 yeah true story not not true story that yeah Okay, so I'm just Google mapping where I'm going to go next because I generally don't still have a clue. And I've found a place called, I believe, called Way Nose Pass or Way Nose Pass or whatever it's called. But this looks quite cool on the old Google Maps. So this is my plan of the place we're going to go to just here. You probably can't see this. And obviously do the massive long pass and just see if it's pretty or not pretty. And basically just go from there. So just you know a few more hours of riding before i head back and chill out back at the monkey cycle camper but that's now my plan head out find another pass hopefully middle of nowhere not as popular hopefully as hard knock pass as well so i might be able to give it a little bit more beans but yeah that's the plan now jump on the bike head off before i do i need to find somewhere to go for a number two all right then let's go let's get to this new pass i can't remember the name of it already we're no, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to this really cool pass that I've probably pronounced wrong anyway. We'll see if it's as cool as it looks. I don't even know if it looks cool because I just Googled it on Google Maps and just zoomed in and found a pass. I was like, yes, let's do it. But then we're winging it. It is a proper, full-on helmet head, 100% winging it adventure. So let's go wing it. So it's saying 16 miles there. So whew, hopefully we'll get away from the rat race. We can go and enjoy some chill-out time on the side of... Uh, side of this place that we're going to go see. And this isn't the exit to the car park. We'll just pretend I never did that. This way, let's go. We're all good to go. 16 miles of chill out riding. And then once we're there, it's going to be epic. We'll make it epic. Full power, but what a pretty lake still, eh? It's nice to think that I've managed to find a road that goes alongside Windermere Lake and literally you know found that little bit to pull it apart because everywhere was like tourist as like crazy and obviously it's a beautiful day so it's going to happen but that was a real lucky find and i am the kind of person that will just keep going until i find somewhere or i'll move on because like you know i'm not a big um touristy person i just just find stuff like that a little bit boring and i'd rather get away and see the prettiness in it but hey that's me anyway We'll hack down some miles, we'll get out of Dodge, and we're gonna go and find some hopefully peaceful, scenic, not too busy pass, what I can't remember the name of. Let's go. You and I, we never show emotions, we just keep it down, down inside. Yeah, you and I Both longing for expression For the things we like But we stay quiet, we stay quiet. Hold me now 